So the first thing I'm going to do actually is set up a master page for this document. So let me go back to my screen. Um, now the left-hand side here, you can see uh, uh, on your pages panel all of the pages that's kind of currently in your document. But you'll see just above that, there's also a master pages uh, option here, which you can kind of expand. Now there's no master page in there at the moment, but if you just click this button here, add master, that will then create uh, a master page. You've got the option to create a single or a facing page master page. In this case, I'm going to create a facing page uh, spread. I'll just call this uh, uh, master page. So now you can see I've actually added a master page uh, here. And in fact, it's currently selected. So that's what I'm now editing. So for this particular document, what I want to do is kind of create like a dark theme. So I'm going to start by adding a background to this. I'm just going to choose the rectangle tool. Uh, drag out the shape and I'm going to make this uh, like a, a kind of a dark grey colour. Now you can see here that while I've uh, added that as a master page, you can see my master page is now grey, um, all of my pages in my document um, are actually still still white. They're not being based on that master page at the moment. So uh, for me to do that, what I need to do is now go to uh, my pages. I'm going to select page one to start with and I'm going to go right to the bottom. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and then uh, select the last one. So now all of my pages are selected here. And then you can right click anywhere here and go on to apply master. And then when you do that, you can choose which master page you're going to apply um, and then click OK. And then as you can see, uh, now I've done that, um, all of my pages here are now, are now gray. Now, at the moment, I've still got my master page selected. If I wanted to uh, get back to select one of my pages, I double click on any of the pages. So I can double click, say, on that page. And you can see, as I kind of scroll through uh, this document, they're now all gray. Now, of course, the great thing with master pages is that what this now means is, is that if I wanted to make a change to, uh, to, to, to something that was to be applied across my whole document or any, any pages that are using that particular master page, I can just change my master page to do that. So let me go back to my master page. I'm going to double click on that uh, to, to edit it. And actually, what I'm going to do um, is just add a couple more uh, elements here. So I've got my rectangle tool still. I'm just going to kind of create like a, uh, a strip across there. And I'm going to uh, make that uh, kind of like a, a sort of a goldy type colour. Um, and I'll also add, I think, some, uh, some text. So I'm going to choose my artistic text tool here, uh, drag that out. And I'm going to call this the name of the, of the brochure that I'm going to create, which is Affinity uh, GT. Now you can see that once I've done that, if I now go back to uh, my pages here, so I'll just double click here and then scroll through my document, you can now see that all of the pages in my document uh, have that strip and that Affinity GT uh, text uh, un uh, underneath it. So um, that's kind of the first main thing with, uh, with master pages. Um, now, it's worth saying that you can set up multiple master pages. You can just keep adding uh, as many master pages as you like. And of course, you can have different pages based on different masters and all that type of stuff. I won't go into that right now. Um, the other thing that master pages are quite useful for, I've just double clicked that again to go back to master page, um, is that if I wanted any guides uh, in my document, uh, I can add them to the master page and I'll have access to those guides throughout all the other pages that, um, that, that, that use that master. So um, what I'm actually going to do now is go to view and show rule, rulers. Um, and then once I've done that, I can actually now drag out guides. Uh, if I just sort of click on, say, the left ruler and drag out, you can see that that adds uh, a guide from the, from the left. I can uh, drag down from the, from the top. So I'm just going to add a few sort of rough guides here um, that I might want to use in my uh, in my in my document, so I'll add that there, and uh, I'll do sort of similar on the other side. So now, once I've added those guides, um, again I'm on master page at the moment. So now, if I go back to um, say my main document and scroll through it, you can see that those guides are available to me uh, on all my on all my other pages uh, too.